Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're actually going to be looking at some New World MMO gameplay, uh, and this time we're going to be looking at a pretty sweet dungeon area that I love to go with uh, some buddies, and there's always some people here that you can group up with and get some pretty good loot and amazing XP for sure, uh, and that's going to be in Noble Reach. In Noble Reach, there's going to be a sweet little back area um, as we kind of climb these stairs here and fly through this little corridor there's going to be a back area with a lot of people at the moment uh i am flagged up so i see my opportunity to strike a few people uh, i take one guy down and there's going to be another guy i'm going for here he's uh very weak and i cannot get him because of his shield uh, but this guy gets let back up i go right back after him and it looks like i take him out pretty easily uh, but this mob is going to be glitched at uh zero zero hp so we're just going to run past him uh, as this guy's buddy kind of just runs away from the fight. So uh, pretty pretty fun place to get PvP kills as well. So make sure you're flagged up when you come here if you're looking for some extra excitement. Um, but really, this place has amazing, amazing loot. Uh, there's going to be an awesome chest here you can loot every time you come. Uh, there's going to be amazing mobs that you're going to be able to share XP with uh, all these guys and it's it's really a pretty awesome place to be. And this ancient chest this time around gave me a tier 3 uh, uncommon life staff. And it's pretty awesome because the fact I just hit level 21 recently. So I was just able to start wearing tier 3 gear uh, at level 20. Um, so the fact that I just got this tier 3 life staff is pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to skip ahead and kind of show you... Um, by the way, I didn't tell you what territory this was in. It is in Windsward. Um, Noble's Reach is the name of the area we're in. Um, this should be a pretty easy place to spot and you know understand where to go. Uh, here you'll see the little boss they have in this area, the uh, Xer, the Impaler, I believe is. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but basically the Impaler, and he drops amazing loot. Um, he drops absolutely amazing loot. I did get a tier three weapon here. Um, and I, I'm sure I'll show you that here in just a second on the screen. But as you can see, we're dropping these enemies so quickly that we're getting such great XP rates. Uh, as, as I come on here, you can see, I get the ancient Warhammer rare and that's from, uh, the drop from killing that boss. So the boss can drop amazing loot. The huge chest can drop amazing loot. And then you also have amazing XP rates back here. And like I said, if you're flagged up, you'll find awesome PvP as well. Uh, there's a lot of times where you'll find people coming in here trying to kill you if you're flagged. And there's a lot of times you'll be able to come in here and just kill whoever's flagged up in here. So it's a great opportunity for pretty much everything in the game. Uh, I do love Noble Reach at this point because uh, from what, level 20 to level 30, it's a great spot to be as long as you have the people. There, I would not suggest coming back here um, if there's probably less than three people and you're kind of under leveled. I would definitely not come back here. Uh, but you know, as you can see, we have what six or seven people back here, and we're just lighting things up. It works pretty amazingly. Uh, and one thing I recommend, if you don't already know this, definitely bring a ranged weapon. A ranged weapon is going to let you uh, get pretty much everything attacked uh, from a range. If you're weak and you need to stay back, you're still going to get them XP rates because you're going to be able to range each individual monster. Um, and you got to remember, you want to at least hit each mom once before they die, and that's the only way you'll actually get XP. You won't get XP for just being in the area, so make sure you do some damage before that mob dies. Um, but like I said, great XP, great drop chances, uh, great PvP opportunities, and you can even get this as a PvP. So make sure you take a look at your mission board and see if you have anything that brings you down to Noble's Reach. Because Noble's Reach, like I said, is my favorite area currently in New World uh, in the preview event at least so far. And you got to remember I am only level, I believe, 21 uh, at the moment, 22 maybe. And uh, that is because I'm taking things slower this time, kind of checking the crafting out, uh, kind of doing everything a little bit slower and getting really into it as, you know, I played probably 100 or so hours of the alpha and want to make sure, you know, I really explore and take the time here in the uh, preview event. But like I said, this is a lot of fun, a very fun area. You guys should all try it out. Uh, make sure you have the group size for it. As you can see, I think our group's gotten bigger since the start. Uh, I'm in a group of three other guys too. So, you know, even if we didn't have this big of a group, we'd just need one or two other people and we'd be cooking these uh, cooking these mobs pretty well. So, like I said, 
great spot in Noble's Reach. Just give it a give it a look. Let me know in the comments if you have an awesome spot that you like to go more than any other spot. If you found a great way to level, let me know in the comments below. And that's actually going to be it for this video. Uh, just a quick video to kind of explain my favorite spot at the moment. And uh, just make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you guys want some new world content. Uh, we're going to be grinding this game like no other when it officially drops as well. So make sure you subscribe for that. And uh, I'll see you guys on Eternum.